I have a confession to make. I've been watching a lot of television lately, more than I ever have because of the pandemic. And I've been watching this series on Netflix called Heartland. Have you ever heard of it? It's a story about a family living on a ranch and just their lifestyle, their, their trials and tribulations of living on the ranch. And it's just, it's in beautiful country. It's in Canada. The scenery is incredible, a lot of horses. Anyway, one of the main characters in the show, Amy Fleming, played by Amber Marshall. Amber does some cooking in real life uh, and her life is on a ranch in real life. And uh, so she made this recipe that I saw the other day and I decided to try it. It is a breakfast recipe made in a cast iron pan. She calls it the Bloom Breakfast and I wanted to share it with you. It's basically some onions and potatoes and some cheese, bacon and eggs and a few other things tossed in, whatever you want. It's very customizable and it was just out of this world delicious and I wanted to bring it to you and share it with you. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. All right, here's chef joke number one. Number two is coming a little bit later. All right, so why did the bacon laugh? Because the egg cracked a yolk. <laughs> All right, it's time to go over our ingredients. First up, we have some medium white cheddar. Here's a couple of pasture raised eggs and some uncured Applegate bacon. Now I'm using some organic gold potatoes here and you wanna use organic for potatoes because they're loaded with pesticides if they're conventional. I only peeled off the little sprouts just to get rid of those, but I left the rest of the peel on and then you wanna slice these very thin, so no thicker than one quarter inch thick. Some finely diced yellow onion, one cremini mushroom, which I'm gonna give it the super fine dice some red bell pepper, which I'm gonna slice up and then cut into little bite-sized pieces. Now I'm tossing in some asparagus because I just happen to have it, but you could sub in other things like uh, broccoli, cabbage, whatever you want. So with the asparagus, you wanna just snap off the, the tough end of the asparagus where it naturally breaks and then cut it into bite-sized pieces. Now for our fresh basil, I'm just gonna stack the leaves roll them up and then slice them. That's called chiffonade, that's a French term. And then just chop it up nice and small. Now with the fresh parsley, you wanna take your knife at an angle and just shave off some of the leaves and that'll cut down on the amount of stems that you get. And then run your knife through it and chop it up into small pieces. The first thing we need to do is start cooking our bacon because that takes the longest, right? So I've got my cast iron pan over there. We're gonna go ahead and, and drop in a few pieces. I'm just making it for me. So I'll probably put in two or three pieces of bacon. My bacon's done over here. I took it out, set it on a little paper towel plate here. And what's left here in the pan, as you can see, is some grease. Now, Amber, in her video, used the bacon grease and you can do that. That's fine you know, if you wanna do that. I tend to not want to do that so much because I don't think it's quite as healthy, but the flavor's amazing. So what I do is I just pour out the excess of the bacon grease and then I fill in with any olive oil that I need to use. So I'm going to dump this out and I'm going to leave, like I said, I'm going to leave some in there. Now we're going to take our olive oil and I'm going to put a little bit in the pan. Got my temperature up to medium heat. We're going to start this off and I'm going to toss in the onion along with the mushrooms. And we're just gonna saute these for like three minutes. All right, now we're ready to add our potatoes to this. So we're gonna take our potatoes and I'm just gonna kind of fan them out and kind of push them in. I'd like them to touch the bottom of the pan so that they can brown up. And I'm going to overlap some of these. Just one layer. Now for right now, I'm gonna put the lid on for a couple of minutes. Now it's important to cover this with the lid because that'll help cook up the potatoes very quickly and that's what you want. Otherwise it would take way too long. Okay, it's been about five minutes. Let's have a look-see. Got my fork here. I'm gonna poke the potatoes to see where they're at. They're starting to get nice and soft, but they're not quite there yet, but they will be. Now, you can either turn over your potatoes or not. That's up to you. I kind of like to do it because you get a little crispy edge on them and I like that. I like that a lot. So I, I just flip them over, you know. 
mix those onions in there and man, it's just already, I'm, it smells amazing in here. Okay, I'm gonna go one more minute and then we're gonna start adding some other ingredients. All right, another minute's gone by. I'm just gonna kinda bring everything in together like that. I'm gonna toss in the bell peppers because I like to keep them a little bit more firm, not too soft. And they'll cook right over there on the edge, along with the asparagus. I'm gonna to toss in a little bit of the basil now. And a little bit of parsley. I'm gonna put the lid back on for a couple minutes. It's been about three minutes. So now I'm gonna just give this a little stir around the edges here. I'm going to add the cheese now right on top. I'll let that go for a minute. All right, that cheese is starting to melt. That's good, that's a good sign. I'm going to put the eggs in now. And these are gonna be cooked over easy. Well, as easy as you want them. I'm gonna basically gonna crack them in and let them just sit right on top. Well, of course that one didn't cooperate, but that's okay. And try the other one. I'll put it right there. Now stay there. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put some more basil on this on top. Lots of colors going on here. And some parsley. Lots of greenery. Good for you. And then I'm just gonna continue to cook this and check it every minute or so until my eggs are the way I like them. Forgot to mention, I wanna add a little pepper to that. Right on top. And if you want, just a pinch of salt. You don't need much because of the cheese. All right, let's have a peek. Ooh, I think this looks mighty close to where I like it. Yeah, my egg yolk is still a little, yeah, a little soft. It's looking good. I think maybe 30 seconds more and I'm gonna serve this up. All right, that's it. That's how you make this thing. It's simple, it's easy to do. You just have to keep adding ingredients and covering it and it's just delicious and I can't wait. I can't wait to eat this. I mean, it, I know how delicious it is and I just can't wait. But the first time I made it, I made a mistake and I overcooked my eggs. And you know what? It didn't make a darn bit of difference because it was so delicious, it didn't matter. So anyway, I'm gonna serve this up, at least part of it. Let's see, my eggs are kind of spread out. It's probably not gonna be all that pretty when I serve it up. But that's okay, because it's gonna make up for it in taste. Look at that, there's one of my eggs. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And I love the crispy edges that you get and everything, and you just scoop it up, take as much as you want. I know this looks like a lot, but I can really actually eat the whole darn thing. And then with my bacon, what I did there was just um, cut it up into little pieces. You can just sprinkle it with all around your dish, however you want. This is one of the best breakfast recipes that I've had in a long time. And in fact, you gotta try this. It's just the flavors, that bacon grease, a little bit of it, the rest of it with the oil, I think that's perfect. Please try this recipe, I think you're gonna love it. I'll leave all the information about Amber Marshall down below in the description of this video. And you can you know, go see her stuff too as well. The vegetables have that crispy, crunchy flavor. I can't wait to devour this. If you'd like another breakfast recipe that is out of this world, I have one for you and you've got to try it as well. It's my breakfast burrito. I'm gonna leave a link for you right over there. My sons love this recipe, beg me to make it all the time. It is just fantastic. So check that out and see what you think. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, smash the old like button for me and leave me a comment. I love hearing from you. We'll see you next time.